Hi, I'm Julie Weber of Liberate Ministries, and today's topic is called Reflections of Norma and Sandra. You know, I would like to share some remembrances of both women. Norma McCorvey, Jane Roe of Roe v. Wade, age 69, recently died February 18, 2017, in Katy, Texas. In January of 2008, I went to Washington, D.C. to do the March for Life. The night before the march, I sat down at a table for dinner with another lady whom I didn't know. I didn't think too much about not knowing the stranger whose table I had joined because I was trying to get to know other people doing the March for Life. As I introduced myself, she introduced herself as Norma. I asked if she had done this before and she said yes, this wasn't her first march. I told her about myself and that I had put a book out and she said she had too. I had brought some of my books along so I signed it and gave her one. Well soon a couple of more other women joined our table. During dinner, after Norma introduced herself to the new ladies, she shared how every year she comes back to Washington, D.C. to do the March for Life, hoping that this will be the year that the legal ruling is overturned. For some reason, I still wasn't piecing all this together, and I must have had a puzzled look on my face. One of the women from my Silent No More group commented, Julie, you still don't know who this is, do you? And I said, no. She said that this is Norma Rowe of the legal ruling, Roe v. Wade. Then Norma shared that she never had the abortion, that she had changed her mind, and that she was now pro-life. When Norma left her table, I kept thinking, wow, who is this? I don't. I didn't know who Norma Rowe was, and is she still alive? That was so long ago. The title of her book, she said, was called One by Love by Norma McCorvey, and this is her book. Then I began to wonder why God wanted me here at this event meeting her. As I kept processing it, I realized that the legal ruling is still in effect in the United States, and Norma has since changed her mind and gotten right with God. But the rest of the United States must still believe a lie about what really happened in her case. So here's how the legal ruling came in effect. Norma Rowe had lied that she had been gang raped when she met her lawyer, Sarah Weddington. Sarah had had an abortion and Norma wanted to know where she could get one. Sarah used Norma's case and it ended up going to the Supreme Court and brought legalized abortion all across the United States. Norma never testified in court and she never had an abortion. She put her child up for adoption. Norma had to find out the results of her case through the newspaper like everyone else. As I processed her story even more, I realized that it was all a lie how it happened. The next time I saw Norma was at the Hope for Light conference in Atlanta, Georgia in April of 2009. There was a reception for both Norma and Sandra Cano. Later on in the conference, we marched to the site of the Atlanta courthouse and prayed with Sandra as a group. Sandra Cano, Mary Doe of Doe v. Bolton, age 66, died September 30th, 2014, outside of Atlanta, Georgia. The other famous sister case that happened that same day back in 1970 was the Doe v. Bolton case. Sandra Kano was Mary Doe 
in the legal ruling of Doe v. Bolton. Sandra was married and already had three children who were taken from her and put in foster care. Sandra became pregnant with her fourth child when she was 22 years old. She had gone to Atlanta Legal Aid to file for a divorce from her husband and get her children back. She did not go to a hospital and apply for an abortion. Her lawyer, Margie Pitt Haynes, tricked her somehow into signing an affidavit. Sandra never had the abortion and secretly fled the state to the state of Oklahoma for safety of keeping the child. The results of her case brought legalized abortion all throughout the nine months of pregnancy. Both of these women were used by the United States judicial system under fraudulent circumstances. Both of these women carried the weight of responsibility for the unborn children both of these women tried to have their cases reversed and the legal rulings overturned. They both died before they saw justice. I realized that God wanted me to share the truth about their abortion stories so that people would not be deceived. When you think of Norma Rowe, you automatically connect her to abortion. During her lifetime, Norma developed a relationship with a little girl and she saw her as a real human being that she had grown to love. This same little girl persistently invited Norma to church until Norma could say no, no more and became a Christian. Norma went from being pro-choice to pro-life. The power of a changed mind. Thank you, Norma and Sandra, for your courage and for the way you lived your lives. More details regarding both of these cases can be found on the website attached to this video. Thanks for watching. Live life liberated.